Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video, in this video we will see how you can add chatbot to your Moodle website. So without wasting any time, let's get it started. Before we begin, you will need a communicate account for this video, if you don't have one yet, the registration link is in the description box below, register now for a 30 day free trial. So, for the very first step, you need to log into your Moodle dashboard. Then from the left navigation panel, click on Site Administration. And then, click on Appearance. After that, click Additional HTML. Now, to get the install script, log into your Communicate dashboard. Here, click the Settings icon on the bottom left corner, then go to Install option and click Install. From this Install page, copy your installation script, go back to Moodle dashboard, scroll down and find this, before body is closed, section and paste the script here. Then just click save changes and you are done, you have successfully installed the chat widget on your website. You will see this widget appear on your website and once you click it, the chat window will open. If you already have a bot that you will see that your bot will reply to the queries in real time, even if you don't have a bot, don't worry, let's see how you can quickly create your own. Log into your communicate dashboard, and click on bot integrations. Once the bot integration page is open, you can directly click on integrate bot, or you can visit the compose page. For this tutorial, let's click this integrate bot button. So on the very first step, you have an option to select any one of the pre-built templates for your chatbot. These templates comes with inbuilt relevant intents, which shall make your bot creation process so much easier. For now let's build one from scratch so we'll select a blank template. Next step is to give your bot a name. We'll call it Alex for this tutorial. Next, choose your bot avatar. You can either go with one of the default ones or upload your own. I think this one looks cool. Let's select this and move to the next step, which is to select a default language for your bot. You can select any language from this list, we'll go with English for now. After that, just click save and proceed. Now, believe it or not, you are done creating your chatbot. This final step allows you to enable bot to human handoff feature. Your bot can transfer the conversation to a human team member, when it is unable to recognize any user query. So let's enable this awesome feature, and click finish bot setup. From the next page, you can set your bot to handle all incoming conversation from now on. Let's click I'll set it up later. After that, you'll land on the compose page. From here, you can create various intents for your chatbot. Whenever your bot receives a query, it will try to match that with an intent and answer it. Once a query matches an intent, the bot will reply in real time, instantly. So, as we can see, there are some pre-built intents, first is default welcome intent. This intent is what your users will see when they start their conversation with your bot, for the very first time. So under bot's message text field, type any custom message you want your users to see. For example, we can write, Welcome, how may I help you? Once you've typed your message, click save changes. There is a preview window on the right side where you can see how your chatbot is shaping up. You can also click this test button to open a test web page from where you will get a better idea of how your chatbot will work. We'll show that as well in the later part of this video, but first, let's talk about other intent sections. Let's click answer. Here you can give your intent a name, such as, pricing. Then, under configure user's message, enter queries which you expect your users or website visitors to ask. Such as, tell me about various plan pricings. You can use this add button to add multiple queries for which you want the same answer. Now, under configure bots reply, enter the answer to those queries. Once that is done, click Save Changes. You can not only create text answers, but other rich messages like buttons, image, and custom payloads as well. If you are interested in creating rich messages, link to that video is in the description box below. So, once you are done configuring your intent, again, click Save Changes. The next is Smalltalk section where you can set up Smalltalk messages such as Hi, Hello, Good Morning etc. Your chatbot already comes with few inbuilt ones, but, you can always add more by clicking the Add button. For example if a user says, say about you, the bot will reply with, I'm a virtual agent. Now, the next section is, unknown user input. This is the message which chatbot will show to the user when it is unable to match the query, with any available intents. In such cases, if the bot to human handoff feature is enabled, your chatbot will transfer the conversation to any available human agents. So in that case, you can simply put, your query, is being transferred to a human agent. Now again, Click Save Changes once you are done with your custom message. Now, let's test our chatbot using this test button. After that, you'll see this page. From here you can easily test your newly created chatbot. 
As we can see, the bot shows the welcome message which we created. Now, if you remember, we created this query, tell me about various plan pricings, even if the user's query doesn't match this intent exactly, your Compose bot uses advanced NLP engine, to learn to answer similar queries, automatically. So even if you type, plan pricing, it will trigger the same intent. As you can see bot's response, pricing here, which was actually the answer for this query, tell me about various plan pricings. But the chatbot has replied with the answer even when the query was not exactly the same, that's so cool. Right? So guys, that is it for this video. Have fun creating your first chatbot, and see you, in the next one.